fellow YouTube, this Skip, coming to you live, Strata Real Six of Quarter Kennels. Just want to give you guys a brief update on my 30 gallon breeder size saltwater aquarium. One of the most inexpensive setups you can find on the web. Like I mentioned before in my previous video on this tank. The filtration, the protein skimmer that you see right before you that soon will be hidden behind this dead coil like the filters are. Runs on a single air pump system. which is giving me the filtration for this aquarium. Now you might see a few little particles floating around in the water here and there, and that's because I just finished feeding these guys. And mainly I've been feeding my new additions, my feather dusters, two worms. These guys are awesome. I'm in the process of trying to train them to come out on cue. As soon as I turn on the light, I want them to come out because sometimes they'll go in and they won't show their pretty feather plumes or feather light plumes. We call them feather dusters because their their plumes look just like a feather duster. Hence the name. And they are filter feeders. And so when I threw the plankton in this tank, mixed with brine shrimp, not only did the clownfish have a feast, and the damsels, they have a nice little damsel down here hiding behind this rock, but the feather dusters also had a feast. And so hopefully in the future, I can get these guys a I can train these guys actually to come out on cue and I can feed them by hand. Oh, the other one just came out. Oh, that is awesome. Now, some of you may or may not know that these guys move around freely. This particular one was not up top on this rock when I first placed him in this aquarium. Actually, he was down here with the rest of the guys. And this other one, he likes to sit up, he likes to come to the front of the aquarium to eat. The two that they are housed in, that they feel safe in, is a result of them excreting this liquefied adhesive from their body that attaches itself to the debris, sand, and what have you in its surrounding environment. And over time, and it, it, it hardens a little bit and it turns into this, what you see right here before you. This cocoon like shell around the worm itself. So I just want to give you guys a brief update. Those was not only the fish facts but the aquatic facts. This skip. I'm out.